Hi guys, these are just some quick tips of buying used uh, MacBook Pro or MacBook. Um, well, basically, if you're buying a MacBook Pro and you're getting Apple Care with it, uh, meaning that they are selling you the MacBook Pro with Apple Care, let's say it has a year left or two years left, or if it's a brand new one, uh, basically a brand new one, only a few months, and they want to sell it to you, and it has Apple Care on it. Uh, just a quick tip on Apple Care. Uh, Apple Care, they need actually to call Apple and tell them that they're gonna sell you the Apple Care, which is fully legal. You can transfer your your warranty, but they actually have to call um, in order to do this. So you can call Apple. Um, they have their phone number, one eight hundred number, right in support. So you can or you just Google uh, Apple contact number, in, and you will see the number that you can call Apple. Um, so basically make them call right in front of you <laughs> all right and make sure they need um, to talk to Apple and they can say okay this other person whose name is this is gonna get this computer and they have that Apple care should go under his name uh, after they call and everything's good and before you pay you should always call Apple back before paying of course and make sure that Apple cares under your name now um, now, if you're buying a MacBook that from Kijiji or Craigslist that has dents on it, um, first of all, I wouldn't get one because internal parts could get damaged. Um, MacBook Pros are pretty tough, so they don't dent that easily, especially nowadays that people put the hard covers on it, the plastic ones. Um, you, you can take care of them much more. Um, but going back to the MacBook Pro, if you're getting one that doesn't have Apple Care on it, um, and it's still under the year warranty, then you don't need them to call Apple or anything really. You don't even need a receipt, nothing. You just need to have the MacBook in your hands. Um, you can go and uh, to Apple and get anything fixed. That if there's anything wrong with the MacBook, um, the warranty is fully transferable. Okay, so and they can put down the name. You can register the MacBook in your name. Um, that has no problem but once again Apple Care does uh, they, they do want the original seller to call um, this is because if the MacBook Pro is kinda new uh, just a few months old and Apple Care is also just a few months old um, basically the original seller can call Apple to get a refund on it and then they can just take away the Apple Care plan from your MacBook so they can actually scam you in that way uh, so if you're getting your MacBook, let's say from a reseller store, and they don't know the original uh, name of the owner, they could be scamming people that way by telling that they don't know who the owner was, or if it's not under their name, just be aware of that. If it's a good deal, might as well get it, but it's fishy. I mean, you have to be careful with that. Don't plan that they won't take that Apple Care away from you. Um, they might do that just to scam people. So, just today we, we got a few responses and a um, few comments about that. People wanted to buy a MacBook Pro that had Apple Care on it, and we well, they, they told us to make a video about it so other people can know about this problem. Um, it's not a huge deal, but it will take literally 10 minutes, even less, uh, from you. Uh, calling Apple to them answering registering your name and everything um, To get this done. So make sure you do that once you're buying a MacBook Pro um, If you're buying one and it has dents on it, I wouldn't suggest getting one with dents um, It's mainly you can see that people haven't taken care of it, especially if it's on the lid or if you see on the sides um, That's where your Wi-Fi is. So you have to be careful there if there's dents there. I wouldn't get it if the lid's loose, it's kind of fishy because there's wires that go around it and um, your screen can get screwed up, plus your Wi-Fi and other problems. So if the lid's kind of loose, if there's dents on it, um, the price should be very low. So if you have to get it fixed, then you can get it fixed by Apple. Um, some things Apple would fix for free, but most of the things that Apple fixes are not free. If it's not under warranty, of course, if it's under warranty, then you're pretty good to go. Apple has one of the best warranties out there, in my opinion. Um, 
so feel free there's a lot of scams uh, over in Craigslist so you just be careful with that don't do any shipping handling with Craigslist so if you see a Chinese website or or somebody else uh, that's posting here in Toronto or in Canada or wherever you're watching and they're from another country they're trying to sell you an item over Craigslist don't do it don't send any money uh, PayPal does won't cover everything that you think it's not that safe with PayPal that's why a lot of scammers are uh, doing stuff with PayPal so just be aware of that and um, if it's really legit the scammer well not scammer sorry the seller can actually post it up on eBay and that's that's uh, a lot more protected because eBay for sellers does verify their address um, even verifies their bank account and everything so with eBay you're pretty much protected I've heard of situations happening in eBay but um, it, you're much more protected if you're gonna get something sent into you with shipping right now if you're gonna pick up which is the best way to buy a computer with Kijiji or Chrysler you could find something there um, most camps are on Craigslist, unfortunately but there's a lot of stuff that it's um, usually outsiders uh, somebody from another country can't post up on Kijiji so that's pretty good um, but they do figure out sometimes how to do it so you might see some scams in Kijiji so just be careful with that and the two four ones or three four ones all those have been proven to be scams there's um, a scam channel right here on YouTube that's called uh, scammers donate those are really good people that are making and they're searching uh, for scammers all the time so if you have anything just look up their channel uh, they're pretty good on warning people, especially uh, specific scammers around the world. And um, yeah, if you posted up something on on Kijiji and you're trying to sell it, uh, once again, don't ship anything. It's it goes both ways. Uh, there's scammers that will pay you even with PayPal. Um, I've seen a lot of FedEx fake emails, a lot of PayPal fake emails again. So just be careful with that. And just when you're buying a MacBook Pro, do not suggest buying one that has dents. If you have scratches and they're light, that's okay. Um, but just be aware of the Apple Care, or okay, so be aware of that. And um, I would suggest ha getting a MacBook Pro that at least has maybe just a month of warranty, so then you can take it to Apple if anything happens, or you can extend the warranty and you can make it, you can buy the Apple Care for your product um, once you buy it same thing goes for iPhones and anything like that like iPads so thank you for watching if you guys have any more questions please don't hesitate to write rate and comment